Hey everyone and welcome to the second in this special mini-series of five shuriken skills dealing with blends here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. So in the first of the series you learnt the basics of how to make a blend and I'll just do this by selecting two objects just here and blending them together using the Alt command or Alt control B shortcut because there's just the two and it's simple. You'll notice that when a blend is created you also get this line and the line is referred to as the spine of the blend and just like any other path you can manipulate it. If I get the convert path tool shift C to access that you see that I can pull this around and change the way that the blend appears like so. So you can do all of that to model that around. But you can also replace it with other path shapes. So for example, if I select these two items just here, you can get some interesting stuff going on when you've got gradients involved. And I'll blend those together like so. Now at the moment they're blending in steps. So I'm just going to double click on the blend tool here and then choose specified steps and turn on preview. And I'm just going to up that to something like 255 and hit tab. That's perfect, exactly what I'm after just there. So with that blended together like so, what I'm going to do is bring in this wavy path just here, okay, and drop it down over the top of the existing blend and then select both things together. Then up to the objects menu, down to blend and choose replace spine and you'll see that it draws that like so along there and you get some really really interesting effects i think that actually looks absolutely lovely and you can do it with a range of different path shapes what i'm going to do is actually drop these two circles on top of each other they're both exactly the same size and i'm just going to align them like so and I'll bring those over here and I'll use the blend shortcut Alt Command B, Alt Control B to blend those together. So there is actually a blend there. But I'm going to draw an ellipse. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a regular ellipse like so. Okay. And what I need to do here is just to select one of the anchor points of the ellipse. So I'll choose this one on the right hand side and then cut it at that point because a spine can't be truly continuous it has to have a beginning and an end even if they're at exactly the same place which they are the path begins here and ends there as well okay so with my selection tool I'll take that up to where I want that to be and then again I'll select both things then go up to the object menu down to blend and choose replace spine and you can see what happens. I'm just going to change the blend options just here. Okay, like so. Again, I'll change this to specified steps and put that somewhere into the hundreds, like so. And there you go. You've got a nice smooth gradation as you go around. Of course, you could emulate this with a circle with a gradient stroke, like so. But there might be other things that you want to blend around, like so. And that's it. We're done for today. Join me tomorrow for the next episode in this week-long five-star special of Shuriken Skills, and you'll find out more about blends. See ya.